Hi, Richard. It's Telepew Italian Television. You are live on Italian Television. Hello, Francesca. <laughs> so, are you exciting? Are you exciting tonight? I'm very excited and very happy. And what does it mean to you to be here with our, your baby, your child? Your Who better to be with? Yes. So, you have, you have been before here. Is, is it different from the other from the other Oscar? You mean? Well, it's it's so long ago. I'm older and and more nervous. So can can, can you please say hello to all your fans in Italy? You have a lot of fans in Italy. I'll say again. Hello, Francesca. She knows who she is. Thank you. Francesca. Again, a chiffon. Jackie Chan. Hi. Jackie. Hi, Jackie. We're with ABC. Nice to see you. Aspetta, sentiamo cosa ci dice Jackie Chan. This is it. Tell me about Rumble and Bounce. Rumble and Bounce, I, I know very success in America. It's suddenly like, everything like totally like a dream. I know there's a beginning. I, I have to work hard. Where you see a next movie comes out. Because next movie I already showing in Asia, break all time record. The first time I can break Jurassic Park. So it makes me more exciting right now. Jackie, when are you going to give this up? How old are you now? Huh? Yeah. How old are you? How old do you think? <laughs> 15. 48. Oh, ha, chop, 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 chop. 40 something. 40 something. Yes. So, so, what happened to you in Rumble the Bronx? I know you do all those stunts yourself. Yes. What happened to you? I, I broke my ankle, but it's the last few, uh, the last seven days I broke my ankle. But it, right now it's okay. I still can kick and jump. I'm not going to test you. Nice Are you going to jump tonight? Uh, a little bit with a uh, Korean. Thank you. Gracias. I like to. Uh, uh, hi, you you are alive with Italy. Oh. Hi, buongiorno. Like, buongiorno. Uh, are you exciting about tonight? I'm very excited. It's really a thrill to be here, and I'm not nervous. I'm I'm shocked. I'm nominated for uh, a short film, directing a short film. So. I know. Uh, what does it mean to you to be nominated? It's such an honor. I mean, especially for directing. I, I've been an actor my whole life, so to be nominated as a director is such, you know, such a treat. Is there a film that you like better? Which do I like better? What? Yeah. Is it, uh, it uh, a film? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't see all of the films nominated, so I can't really say. I, I did love the ones that I saw. Sense and Sensibility. I loved. Um, I love Babe. Thank you. Hi. Jeremy Iron, please. Jeremy Iron, please. Mr. You're live with Italian television. Italian television and we ABC. Together. Do you mind? We're sort of together. Nice yeah. to see you. Hi. Tell me, uh, what are you working on right now? Well, I, I'm uh, a film by your your filmmaker Bernardo Bertolucci is coming out <coughs> next week in Siena, and uh, I've just finished production on a film called Lolita, directed by Adrian Lyne, and I'm having a rest. So is there anything in particular you? That if it wins today, you're just gonna go. I really wanted that one. Oh, yeah. underdog, or any, any no. actor, any picture that you're. Holding. Oh well, I'd like Il Postino to win something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you do you do like Postino? Wow. No. Uh, you're live on Italian television. How, how do you feel about tonight? Piacere. Uh, well, I'm very uh, much more relaxed this year than I was last year because I, there's much less at stake. Uh, this is my daughter, Juliet Landau. She's beautiful, like his dad. Yes, well, she's quite beautiful, and, and she's also very talented. She, she was in Ed Wood as well, and she was in uh, a new movie with Whoopi Goldberg that's coming out shortly. So she's a very busy actress. So do you think that uh, Oscar nominations are different since the other year? Well, they're different because no one knows who's going to win, yeah. and I think that's kind of exciting. I think tonight there's going to be a lot of surprises. Uh, last year, everyone sort of knew certain things. People kept telling me I was going to win. I didn't believe it, but I did. Uh, Forrest Gump was a very big hit. Tonight, I don't know what's going to happen. Do you? No, I don't. It's there. Do you like a film, but more than another one? Well, it's very hard to decide. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Trance like state. That's it. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Are you a bit nervous tonight? No, I'm not. You're never nervous. Not tonight. What do you like better, acting or directing? 
Oh, they're both pretty good. It's part of the same job. When you're just an actor, do you find yourself directing the fellow actors? No, I wouldn't presume to do that. Got stuck in traffic. It's crazy here today. All right, well, get in that auto okay. and win one. All right, thanks. Can you tell me, was it depressing day after day playing that kind of role? Niente. John, please. John, just one word to Italian television, please. How do you feel about tonight? Say something to Italy, please. I love Italian television. <laughs> John, which one are you looking for tonight? Television, oh, yeah. We're late, we're beside him. Please. He's not being nominated. We're saying he won. He won. I know. He's had 11 nominations. We're thrilled he's finally getting his attention. And personally, he's had as colorful a life as I've had and as every other actor. So I think it's great that he's getting the recognition finally deserved. Just uh, one word, you're live on Italian... Sex. It's not sex, it's sex. You're live on Italian television. How do you feel about, about tonight? I am, for a start, I'm so honored to be introducing Il Pacino, which I'm doing. And uh, that's the main reason why I'm here. Yeah. Uh, do you like the Postino? But I do what? You needed a bad heart transplant, but there was a life work that you wanted to get done with oh. you. I, I can't answer that. I really can't. I can't answer that. But it's worn me out. Has today been overwhelming or different? It's been really it's been overwhelming in the most beautiful sense of the word because I I said to my friends, like, can we come by? I said, sure anybody can come by. And when I left there were thirty people standing in my house blowing me kisses and screaming and cheering and it it, it was a wonderful day. That's great. You waited a long time. Yes, I did. Absolutely. Good luck. Hi, uh, Sharon. You're live on Italian television. Buonasera. 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 Come stai, bello? You want to, to be here with your dad? Yes, I want. This is my dad, Joe Stone. Joe Stone. It is. I have a special friend I say hello to in Milan. Are you excited? Are you I am ecstatic. If you win, what will it be in your performance? Do you think that got through? I can't even really get that far into the process without passing out. I think. Well, no, but it's just—it's just better for me in life to stay in the present of what's happening, and that's later. So we'll see later. All right. I read a quote that said uh, when you were working with Scorsese and. And it sort of the boys' club. Yeah. That they'll let you play or you can stand by. Did you feel you had to kind of prove yourself on that set? Oh, absolutely. I had a lot to prove. These are the best people in the business. The best director, the best actors, the best cinematographer, the best costumes, the best set designer. Dante Ferretti, five years in a row nominated for an Academy Award. I mean, the best of the best. And I had a lot to prove, yes. Great. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.